Hi friends. So I know there are a lot of sounds going on outside, but I like to do these a little bit more in life. So we are visiting some friends near Houston and thought I'd get outside before we got back to the Montana cold. So today I want to share with you what I have been learning in this season of Advent. So Advent started, if you follow the liturgical calendar of the church, started last Sunday, or by the time you're seeing this, a little over a week ago. And Advent is not just waiting for Christ to come as we await Christmas, as when he came the first time for his birth, but it's also about waiting for him when he fully comes the second time. Revelation 21, when he comes back, makes the world right, ushers in his eternal dominion and everything else. So I want to read a passage to you in Isaiah. I'm actually doing this uh, She Reads Truth Advent 2020 study, which I highly recommend. It's incredible. But this passage in Isaiah 9, we often hear the second part, but we don't hear this first verse that I'm going to start in verse 5. For every trampling boot of battle and the bloodied garments of war will be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child will be born for us, a son will be given to us, and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. The dominion will be vast and its prosperity will never end. He will reign on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish and sustain it with justice and righteousness from now on and forever. The zeal of the Lord of armies will accomplish this. We often hear mighty counselor, prince of peace, but we don't often hear that verse right before about how God, Jesus, is going to burn our bloodied garments, our trampling boots from war, as fuel for his fire when he comes back. And so I'm just thinking about these times that we're facing, especially people who live in chronic pain and add in the political climate and the corona and everything that's going on in 2020. It's a lot. And we don't get through life unscathed. You know, we're going around. We got a slash on our arm the other day that's bloodying our garments. We are still putting our boots on, strapping them on each day. Go check out the armor of God, right? We have the gospel of peace. That's what the shoes of the armor of God is. And so we have to put these things on. We have to put the armor of God on each day because this is a war, right? Each day we are facing so many things, so many battles. But this hope, this season of Advent, this season of waiting for God to come back just reminds me that there is going to be a day when these things are burned as fuel for the fire in that final battle when Jesus defeats Satan once and forever. There will be no more tears, no more pain, no more death. And that's, that's what we hope for. I know that can seem like a long way off, but if you're still here, if you still woke up this morning, God has a plan for you. He's not finished with you yet. And I know that can be the hardest thing to hear and to live out sometimes when you're in so much pain. But it's true. He has something to do in you and through you while you are here. Thanks for bearing with all the sounds. I hope that you just find joy in this Advent season and who Jesus is, who he was, who he will always be, and who will reign forever.